Good morning folks, I just wanted to show you this gorgeous Evolution 9 here at Bobby Victory. This is Faiz's car. If you remember, he had that very nice wrap, the Honda Accord, which was a uh, like a green, very light green grey colour. I don't know what it was, but uh, this is also one of his toys. And I was just remarking to him that, you know, it's not a wrap, this is, this is paint. This car doesn't need to be wrapped, it's a pearl white. And as uh, subdued, yeah, that's my head. Yes, I'm not wearing a hat. So as subdued as this white colour is, you don't need it to be flashy, you don't need to have racing stripes, you don't need livery, you don't need anything. People will still come and kachow you, for sure, definitely. So what am I doing uh, out here at Bobby Victory again? Well, like I said, small, small things that, uh, that come up with the car after looking at it for a long time. Yes, I realise there's a little bit too much blue in the uh, fender, in the front fender. So, what we're doing today is we're going to put in a little bit more orange because there's very nice orange here and then the whole fender is blue. But even the bumper has got a little bit of orange at the bottom, a little bit of gulf orange at the bottom as you can see. So what we're going to do today is we're going to add a little bit of stripes here. A couple of, uh, a couple of orange stripes. Oh, that's the heart of my Fiat Punto. But uh, yes, there we go. That's what it's going to look like. Just a little bit of orange in the fender. Of course, it's not like this. It's going to be properly done in a little while. But uh, it will complement the uh, overall side profile of the car, as you can see. So the, it will be offset just a little bit and uh, add a little bit more orange into the car. So yeah, stay tuned for what it looks like. Some people were asking about the, uh, the seam lines when, when they cut. As you can see, it is very uniform. I mean, if they take this much trouble for just a fuel filler cap, I guess you can tell that the doors and everything else is very, very well done. Yeah? So all you doubting Thomases out there, there you go. So stay tuned to see what it's going to look like with a little bit more orange in the fender. Okay folks, one thing before we see the uh, stripes on the front fenders. Uh, over time, these things like this are going to happen. You see, when you refuel, you're going to get stains. Now, the, of course, the thing to do right after refueling and closing your cap is to pour water, right? Everybody does that. But if you miss any, you're going to get stains like this, which are very, very hard to come off. So, Faiz uh, recommends that you bring the car in and they will use their special cleaner <laughs> and check it out. Go ahead, bro. So, just a little bit. And it's gone. I mean, like, really gone. So there's one more stain here. I don't know how that happened. Now the cool thing is, the during the spillage of the petrol, it didn't take off the, uh, the wrap, which was great. And this is all part of the warranty, yeah, bro? Yes, part oh, of the warranty. Oh, excellent, excellent. So, and then there's one more little stain there. And that's it, it's gone. Very nice. So the other thing that can happen is you, over time, there's heat and stuff like that. It might actually bubble. Can you see this bubble? Okay, surprisingly, it's on both sides. So they're gonna rectify it right now. So in case what you're wondering what's that, yes, that's a little, uh, like a, cigar lighter or a Bunsen burner, a mini Bunsen burner, they use heat to actually smoothen out any rough spots. As you can see, the bubble here is completely gone. I can't even remember where it was. I think it was here somewhere just now. But it's completely gone. And so, this side, as you can see, it's been nicely cleaned up from that uh, stain that was there earlier. And this side as well. Yeah, the bubble was here just now. Sorry, I didn't film it, but there was a like two or three bubbles here. Completely gone now. So by using just a little bit of heat and smoothing it out. So that's all about touch and feel.
So there we go, the uh, orange stripes are into the fender and as you can see, it's all lipped nicely on the inside. Very, very cool. Both sides lipped in very nicely for a little bit more of that. Slightly more orange in the fender. There was just too much blue here earlier. So there we go, very nicely done. Lovely, lovely. So, for the full effect, let's have a look. So, there we go. One last walk around. I think we're just about done. Maybe next time I'll get something else done and surprise you all as this quest for a 1-1 one -one scale model of my Hot Wheels cars some of my spares are actually here. But yes, there's the full effect. Nice one, bro. Well done. Yeah. So this was done afterwards uh, on his computer. He gave me a few designs and this is the one that we chose. If you all remember correctly, when my car was gunmetal grey last time, I had two black stripes there. Now they are orange with golf. Very, very cool. So again, if you want to change the look of your car, if you're tired of it just being all white like that beautiful Evo 9 out there, come over to Bobby Victory here in Puchong and in a few days, you've got yourself something that looks like it just came out of the showroom. Very, very nice. So okay guys, thank you so much again. We will uh, keep, it, keep you all informed on what's gonna happen next with the Punto. Take care y'all, thanks for watching, stay tuned, bye.